Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, on the most beautiful day at La Land. I would love to just stay in the sun, but I have to rush to the shops because the dream team are cooking tonight. <laughs> Philip yes. and I okay. are doing Valentine's dinner. Let's rush. We're in a massive hurry. Yeah, because... Uh, what time is it? It's 10 to 12. The supermarket and the boulangerie close at 12.30. Yes. Uh, we can it's do about this. A 15 minute drive. And we don't know what we're cooking tonight. Nope. The weather is amazing. It's so beautiful. We're having the most beautiful winter. When I woke up this morning, I just looked outside and uh, like the light was pouring in. It was yeah. so beautiful. It's a good way to wake up on Valentine's Day. We've made it just in time for the bakery. By the skin of our teeth. They have run out of bread. Okay, there's a second boulangerie in town. Let's go there. Because today is Sunday and our bread is delivered at Lalande on Mondays and Thursdays. So Sunday is the worst day of the week for bread. We have nothing. Okay, this is take two. Merci beaucoup. Success! I am so relieved. I get very anxious when there isn't bread in the house. Okay, let's go to the supermarket. What are we going to cook? We still I haven't decided. No right. Let's look at the car. But I can't believe it is so bright that I'm having to shield my eyes in February. We've come to the supermarket and we have a plan. We are going to make tacos. Now there's method in our madness. It might not sound that valentines -y, but most people on Valentine's Day might be in a romantic relationship, having to eat something that makes them look elegant. But we don't need to do that. We're a big group of friends and we can have tacos. So we're going to embrace the fact that we can eat messy food on Valentine's Day. Quickly grabbing everything we need for the tacos. We're going to need to shred this. We have onions, we need avocados. How many do you need? Um, yeah, well a few. I'm going to make guacamole. The problem Ooh. is that I don't know if these are ripe or not and I can't touch them because they're in the plastic. So I'm, so I'm going to have to trust them and that worries me. Parsley, just because I love parsley and I buy it whenever I come to the supermarket because we haven't got much in the greenhouse at the moment. Cheese next. I thought of something even more fun than cheese. I reckon we should get wine. Good idea. Uh, we usually just have it in a box, but it's Valentine's Day, so I think we should probably have a bottle of wine. <laughs> well, this is overwhelming. Will that do? Yeah. Great. I love the one. Okay, we can finally breathe. They've actually shut the gates and they kicked us out. And the back door. But we have everything we need. Look, I was holding the bag and it just tore. Oh. Well, it's been a very exciting morning. What a start to Valentine's Day. You can say that again. <laughs> but we did it. Look, we're yeah. flush with success. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> the only thing I didn't have time to get was chocolate powder. So let's hope we've got some at home because I'd like to make a nice cake for everyone. I might have used that in the hot chocolate the other day. Oh dear. Let's we'll see. Okay, well, if you did, then you're in disgrace. What? Valentine's Day disgrace. How? How was I supposed to know that you were going to need it? Maybe. Right. Honestly, as long as we've got bread, I'm happy. <laughs> I think that might be the half French part of you. Yeah. <laughs> La baguette du vin? That's, 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 
So we're back we, in the car with like yeah. five minutes on the clock left. But like, two, exactly two okay, minutes on the clock five, left. But we've been we're outraged. We were evicted from that supermarket yes. two minutes before closing time. I know, it's <gasps> ridiculous. <sighs> we shall never come here again. That's a big lie. I know. <laughs> you shall hear from our lawyer. <laughs> if they hadn't been so early, we would have been able to have chocolate cake. Oh, oh dear, dear, dear. And some more <laughs> Steph, what did you forget? Well, we were feeling really smug. What Felt that we? we managed it. I was feeling pretty smug. I forgot the tomatoes. Talking about the quack we're making. We're going to have tacos without tomatoes. <laughs> I mean... That's the red bit for Valentine's Day as well. <laughs> Big error on our part. Well, your part. I feel it was sous chef that led us down. No, 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 no. no. I was I getting felt... the wine at that point, but you were getting the vegetables. Fair enough. Fair enough. I was getting the meat. You were getting the wine. No one got. <laughs> but I'd rather have tacos without tomato than tacos without corn. So. I'd rather have tacos without tomatoes than tacos without wine. Ooh, that's a good one too. I'd rather have tacos think... without tomatoes than tacos without guacamole. Yeah, we could too. play this game all the way I home. I think we're fine, actually. <laughs> I mean, yeah. This is really a very nice route home. Love this drive, it makes me happy. So, what are you going to call this video? I think it's got to be your pun, hasn't it? <laughs> the one from last night. Valentine's Day. Thank you. Are you feeling pleased with yourself? Quite, yes. Yeah. Very, actually, if I'm being honest. Valentine's Day it Valentine's is. Valentine's Day. It's my favorite day, that's not true. Well, that, that's me emulating you. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly you hang out with me, everything's your favorite. <laughs> home sweet home. And a whole load of lovely people we get to have Valentine's Day with. As we were driving past the fountain, I just noticed something exciting. At the same time as Dan planted the box hedging and all the lovely lavender, he planted giant allium bulbs. Look, they're coming through. I think there's about eight in each bed. They should be spectacular. That is not lavender, whichever way we look at it. There's another one. I think there's about eight in each bed. They're so pretty. I've always longed to have some. This is the first year I've ever bought Isn't them. Isn't it such a beautiful day? Yeah, we're just sitting on the side of the fountain. And we were talking about the facade. Which I really want to get done. I really want to take that piece of facade off because it's just hanging on by like a, it's just hanging on barely. I know, it's so and tempting. It's, yeah, it's so tempting. You just go together. Yeah, but I've been wanting to do that pretty much every day since I got here. So no. <laughs> But the minute we've booked the facade restoration, mm -hmm. we're allowed to pull that bed off. Yeah, deal? Deal. Deal. We actually are going to have to go in and start thinking about cooking we'll at some point. We have to get the stuff out of the car first. Oh. But it's yeah. a nice and warm out. Well, warm. But it's in not, the sun, yeah, it's... it's actually pretty good. How have you been running? Not yet. I'm preparing myself for running. Oh, this is, this is what preparation looks yeah, like. Yeah, coffee outside is so beautiful. It's so incredibly beautiful. So we decided to go with the tacos. Perfect. Yes. Four of us. Happy Valentine's Five. Day. Five. Selma is coming back, right? Yeah, Selma yeah. says he'll be back specially to have Valentine's oh, Day with fantastic. us. Yeah. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. I have bad news. Oh, no. Selma is not coming tonight. But it's Valentine's I Day. I know. He says, hello from Losh. I, I love Losh. Yeah, I just wanted to drive back, but my battery is flat. Oh. So he does not start. So he has to call to the garage and wait for them to oh, go and pick them thing. up. And, and he does, doesn't I like do driving think, in the dark. No, I do not think that it is possible today, he say. Oh. He says, oh, what a pity. He said, and he's, yeah, and, and Valentine's Day. So he will be along with Tiso there. Actually, then... Why don't we just wait for him? We can have Valentine's a day late, can't we? Yes, of course. And it would be nice to be all together. Yeah, it seems weird. The four <laughs> yeah. of us having it without Salma. It doesn't yeah. feel right. We wait for one more day. We wait one more day. Yeah. <laughs> Valentine's Monday. <laughs> How was your run? I didn't want it. <laughs> it's all preparation. Well, I, I took my shoes off. It's been like two hours of prep. <laughs> I'm cleaning my room. 
Okay, Valentine's Day is officially postponed for one day because we'd all far rather wait for Selma and have it with him. So instead, I'm going to get on with some much needed work, which is writing the patron cards. And there are a lot for me to be getting on with. But when I think that it looks like a lot of work, I just remember how incredibly grateful I am to each and every one of my patrons. And that gives me the courage to carry on writing. I changed it for the Lords and Ladies of Lalande and the Viscounts and Viscountesses by having them pre-printed and I write the last sentence and I sign them myself. And then all of the other tiers I handwrite. I used to handwrite all of them and I hand wrote over 2,000, but I realized that if I carried on writing cards at this rate, I would be doing that instead of making videos. So I had to make this decision. And whilst I'm getting on with that, I will leave you with the exciting footage of Selma's exploration below the loo. Right, we've called in the reinforcements. Matt has arrived yeah. and is staring at a stone. I cleaned it for him, so it's all nice and clean. It's amazing. Oh, you've gone even further back now, Selma. Yeah. All the way back. Oh, well, you see that there are... This is, this is one stone, two yes. four stones, and it's one big stone in the back. Oh yeah, it's a much clearer view of what's so happening. Now I'll put a ring on it and I can lift it. Yes. Yeah, so he's going to drill it tomorrow. Yeah, put a raw bolt in it, put a ring so we can pull it out. But you can see where, where he's poured some water on here now, and you can see the way the water, the way the stone it's is. It's going straight back to the wall, it's isn't it? It's going straight back into the yeah. into the wall. All the water so is going straight into the wall. So this is actually more or less level with your floor. Yeah. So you see what I mean? We, we dig up from that downpipe, or we go all the way to the end. It's up to you. Yeah. We go down half a metre, put all these to manholes. Yeah. Yeah. And then they link up to that drain there. So all the water goes underground it's crazy. and yeah. to there. Much better. But you solve the problem. Yeah. I would take away all this yeah. and leave it away mm -hmm. for a few months to let it dry out to see if that we... we yeah, the problem. so we think we'll have another problem inside as well, but at least this will be one problem dealt yeah, with. you have to do first. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can go in. I take the tiles out, books, scent, that in, and then it will be okay. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't know, with all this rain that we've had, I mean, all these roofs, look at that. You think how much water's on there coming down. Yeah. And it's all coming down here. Soak it into the ground. Now, would you want to put all these back down afterwards or are we going to gravel it? My plan is to put a membrane, obviously deeper down than this, up yeah. to about here. Yeah. Yeah. And then cement it in place, put the pipes in and then gravel it. Also, maybe put perforated pipe in case any water is coming down here that can catch it and go to your drain. Mm hmm unless you want these stones putting back down. I think the stones are quite nice because yeah, they, they, they give the history of the place more yeah. than gravel would. Then we'll gravel it and put those on top. Put those on top. Yeah, yeah I think that would be better. We keep the same look then. But then it's got to stay open to make sure that that fault is gone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So we'll dig it out. We'll dump it somewhere else and keep it neat. Yeah. There'll be gravel in there for the meantime. Yeah. And we'll leave about that so we can put stones back in. And that way you, keep, well, you can keep an eye on the situation. Yes. Good. I like the plan. You happy? Yeah. So next week you'll be starting on this. Yeah, Thursday and I'll be here Friday and Saturday and oh, Sunday. Oh, then I'm already in. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind you going in, but don't take any water away because I'd like to see. Or just call me and say you're in. This week we're only working up the road, so. I'll see you next week, Matt. Exciting stuff, hey? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Staying over. Uh, no, he got me in trouble, didn't he? Oh yeah. He got me in well, trouble. Well, I think it's you. I watched it last night, and I heard you say Matt wanted to turn the tables over. Oh, Matt turned these, all these plates around, and now tell the truth. Did I touch any plates? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did oh. I touch any plates? Maybe it was your idea. Oh. It was oh, my idea. And who actually did it? This person here. <laughs> then he yes. did it. But I thought I could better do it. It was in his head. And uh, I said, don't touch that. Then we do it. Yeah. Ah, oh, so See? he was doing it to protect me, Matt. Yeah. Uh, oh, I knew there'd be a <laughs> jail card. Eh? <laughs> I knew there'd be a jail card. That's why I'm, are you staying over there? Yeah? No, yeah. definitely not. I'll get in trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it, got it. 
got it. I was. Uh... Oh, have you opened it? No, no, no I did it open. Oh, thank I did. goodness! I, I want make, to be there. Make some space. Yeah. With the machine, the yeah. big machine. I thought because it was so sealed. Yes. And I took the hammer, and it took an iron stick, and I was, no way. No, you're joking. So we don't need to wait for Matt with the no, digger. No. Are you serious? Yeah. Can we go and do it now? Yeah, I, I thought I first go to you to. So I, I love it look. when you get really excited oh. like this. So <laughs> okay, okay, I'm running straight down. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, now this is a man prepared. Leather. And I saved the ring. Can you believe it? Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Because I wanted to take it off because I had uh, made something else. Yeah. So and then it was in the way. Yes. And then I thought, huh? And I was with the hammer and a bital, and suddenly it popped up and it worked. Came loose. Yes. So with some oil, so that is very nice. So this is it. So oh. you haven't you haven't gone down. You no, haven't no, looked in no, here. I really waited for you. This is the moment. You cannot believe it. It's really this. It is. <laughs> Quite it's well. Way smaller than I thought. Right, let's have a look down there. I thought it was deeper. Well, it's got a lot of sludge slash poo yeah, so in it. You have to clean it. It is not smelly, but. There's a pipe there. Yes, there's a pipe. See if I can get the camera in a bit more. Don't drop it. <laughs> there are the bricks. So I have to go in here. Eh? Gotta go in. And you're sure you want to be the one to go in? Yeah. I think you're going to need wellies. I think the first part, eh? Well, I can try. Maybe it's hot. Oh, this is old poo, I think, Salma. Are you sure? Would you like a mask? Oh, it's hard. Ah, excellent Very diesel. Frozen. Hardened slash frozen poo. <laughs> well, on. I'll take frozen poo over soft poo any day. <laughs> it's on? No. No. Yes. Yeah. I'm a little bit claustrophobic, but... <laughs> <laughs> goes very far. Really? Yeah, so I take my phone. Oh, this is so exciting. Now it's a little bit... <laughs> Will you film whilst you're down there? Yeah, I go with, shall I do that? Yes. Uh, but my camera has a, fl a, f a flashlight. Exactly, so that'll be great. Oh, this, <laughs> this, is, this is the moment. It's a little bit bad. It's, it's not smelly, so I think... No, 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 not at all. Oh, here we go. The intrepid Selma, who decided he's just too excited. He doesn't want Philip to be the first going down there. I've got no objections. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I someone's super, super happy about that. Yep, that's what I thought might be the case. This is a job for wellies. Yeah, because further, you never know, eh? Yeah, yeah I imagine it'll be pretty horrible. Okay, take two with wellies. <laughs> yeah, it is much deeper than you expect. Yeah, I think that there's a lot to dig out there. Yeah. So here I am. Wow. And here is a little bit of water. And it is also very deeper here. I can't stand, but we have to clean it out. Yes. Good spot for a moment. So these are the pipes above on the toilet. And then you go here. is all plastered which you can see it is it looked like an old septic tank yeah 
because I cannot find out. something that you can see to go further. It's only here. And then you are at sight. So, hmm. And the stones on the wall here yeah. look quite similar to the stones here, making me think that it was probably done at the same time, which was around 1860. So do you think it's anything more than a... I'm veering towards septic tank. Right. You have to clean it up first. Yeah. To be sure, eh? See what we find. Because you don't know sure if it is... We should also take a metal detector down there. <coughs> You're Who not knows sure? what people have lost down the loose over the years. Uh, because it's quite deep. Yeah. You the searches continue. We still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but now we get in. Yeah, then that's Matt, it. Matt can empty it. He made a big pump. Oh, but you want to go through? I think we should take a metal detector down first. Okay. Oh my. So phase two, big lamp yeah. and a metal detector. And then you can get, get in with two and then... Mm. But I think no snacks or drinks. I don't <laughs> think we'll hang out down there. Not beer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe above ground. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. Are you gutted that it's not you down there? Not at all. <laughs> <The slightest. laughs> no. You're delighted that that opening was big enough for Selma. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, but Dan I've was seen ready. How to... he's coming out of it? I'm like, I'm pretty happy that. Dan was ready to send you down the little pipe. I heard. He's going to loot me up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> After Selmar's explorations, I spoke to Davy on the phone and he's seen the footage and he's told us that it cannot be a septic tank. And I love Davy. This is just one of the many examples why I love Davy, because he said it's too early to have been a septic tank. And I said, well, Davy, actually, that wing was built in 1860. So it's the new wing. And he said, yes, but septic tanks weren't invented for another 20 years. So he says it is a cesspit. Septic tanks are built to break down waste, effectively liquefy it and send it through a drain to another part of the garden to a soak away. Cesspits are instead just effectively large receptacles. They keep all of the waste water and the other waste from a house and they have a trap door but no other exit and the trap door would have been used to empty it out every few months. I wonder who had the pleasure of that job here. So at the moment we think that that is what we found and we're not ruling out future discoveries because who knows what we could find with a metal detector down there. But I fear that the entrance to the tunnels is remaining elusive for now. <laughs> oh, Selma. Thank goodness you are back. And I see you are back with style. Happy Halloween. Uh, no, 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 no. It's <laughs> Valentine's Monday. Oh my God. It was a, a terrible weekend, so. So what happened? Happy what Valentine. happened? How come you couldn't get back yesterday? My battery was flat. First I was run out of gas. Yeah, so you had no power? I had no gas and then I was on the camper side without uh, electricity. No. And then my uh, batteries were also uh, flat from oh, inside. No. So I had no heater. I could, could not cook. I couldn't get coffee. <laughs> okay, it really was serious. Without coffee, so a little bit. Ah. So you spent Valentine's Day on your own. Yeah. So, cold. so last night uh, I tried to, uh, to to go back in the afternoon, and so I couldn't. And then on one point, totally without any power, so I was sitting in my camper, a little bit cold, with only a candle <gasps> and diesel. <laughs> and diesel. <laughs> Thank goodness Luckily, for diesel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, tonight's going to be better. Yeah. And then I'm uh, going to dress up like a uh, doll. I cannot wait. We're going to spread some love into the world. Uh, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marie, you look stunning. <laughs> Thank 
you. So stunning. I got the right shoes. <laughs> Has this just been delivered? Yes, it's been. It was a gift from a friend, and I oh. yeah, I just love it. Oh, you're gorgeous. You're gonna wear it for Valentine's night. I didn't think about it, but yeah. Yes, you definitely yes, should. I guess. Oh, one day late Valentine. Yes. Well, thank goodness, because yesterday you didn't have the dress. No, I didn't. <laughs> See, it was meant to be. I didn't know we had to dress up for the Valentine's Day. Neither did I until I saw you like that. Oh. And I'm like, okay. yes, yes, we do. And I'm going to go for soft colours like you, I think, because oh, you look so pretty. Thank you. I heard that Selma is dressing up with wings. Yes, there's been a little rumour that he's going to be Cupid tonight. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> you look so gorgeous. Really so beautiful. Thank you. I thought you just needed to see it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I really did. Because <laughs> it's not that often I go like this. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Okay, I've just made what is apparently a very quick, easy chocolate cake. I haven't tried this recipe before, but I was looking for something really fast. For those of us who can have chocolate cake, pop it in here. And those who can't, can have strawberries and raspberries and maybe some dark melted chocolate. What do you think? Sounds great. Okay, so let's get that in the oven. Are you using a heart shaped tin? I know, isn't it cute? Look! <laughs> That's really sweet. After all, it is Valentine's Day. Look Valentine's it. Day, yes. We take it very seriously. How are things going in the dining room? Great. Do you want to come and have a look in a sec? Definitely. Okay, I'm going to get the meat on mm -hmm. and then I'm coming through to see how you get it on the dining room. Can't wait. Sure. You look amazing! It did the best outfit. Yeah, well, you can do it with a white suit, right? <laughs> Right, what are the gentlemen up to in here? So remember these plates? It's the first time we were using them. The one you bought at Royal Limoges? Yes, someone gave me a voucher for Royal Limoges. And we chose these plates. I think they're so beautiful. They're Fabergé plates. They're called Shanghai. I love what you've done for the tablecloth. Thank you. It's just a piece of fabric that we uh, had laying around. Yeah. And I unrolled that and I put it mm -hmm. over a regular tablecloth, which okay. I had on the sides. I could it's go wild. It is wild, yeah. I could go for more like uh, solid white stuff because this is very white in comparison mm -hmm. to that. I think that might look All better. All right, try that. It's strawberries with chocolates, uh, which is something I used to do with my aunt. Okay. You're done. I'm done. They're look. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like the ones with coconut. Oh, yeah, me too. So I put them in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a moment of truth. Oh, that feels that nice. That was easy. Wow. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and Marie is making some of her warm chocolate. Mm -hmm. Is getting rewarmed so that we can put a little bit of chocolate over the top. And now I'm going to warm tortillas, which were sent to us from America. Yes, from Texas, Claudia. The tortilla is warming. We're literally about to go through and eat. This is so this satisfying. Is the last thing. <gasps> Marie, you satisfying. made it perfectly. Look at that consistency. <gasps> wow. Whoa. I'm a little bit proud. Right? Okay. A little Perfect. bit only. Just okay. And your cake form is really, the shape is really nice. Yeah, it's it? come out really well. Wow. Or oh, should I get the strawberries? Huh? Yes, and I got the raspberries out of the uh -huh. fridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. I think you oh, can just you range it around there. Am I to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Really? I'll put the raspberries on top and then okay. you put all of your beautiful strawberries around. All right. Oh, looking, looking good. good. That's so pretty. This is really fun. Yeah. Love is in the air. Gold. Gold. Yes! <gasps> it's amazing! Ooh, look at that! <laughs> oh, it's, it's mint! Not... It's mint! Yes, I a little bit mint. of mint. Yes, you genius. Well, it, it was, no, it was lacking something, Natty. There's, there's no petite. doubt. I cannot see it. It was getting look, a bit minimalist. There's some bigger leaves here. Mintimalist. We have some bigger leaves here. Mintimalist. Mintimalist. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, the table's amazing! Yeah, do you like it? Yes! Good. It's like Shinrazi wow. meets Valentine's Day. Love it. <laughs> oh, hello, Natty. Hello! I put so much on my tortilla that I can't fold it. So I'm having to eat mm. it with a knife and fork. It's time for the Lalon Valentine's Day, sorry, Valentine's Day masterpiece. What do you think? It looks amazing. Right? I've been looking forward to this all dinner. Happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day. Wow. 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 Wow.
yeah. It's Marion Steph cake. Let's <laughs> like the <laughs> Which would be meth cake. <laughs> <laughs> Voilà. Voilà. Oh my so that's a good breakfast. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the coconut strawberry, Marie. I'm really excited mm. about this one. It's so delicious. Yeah. Mm. Selma, what is the plan? Why are you holding an atlas? You uh, ask for Cupido to come to the chateau. Yes. To uh, to shoot some love into the world. Oh, I didn't know he was going to be shooting love into the world. Yeah, I thought he was just joining us for a lovely Valentine's mm. dinner. But that is what he does. Okay, the, fair enough. Then I shoot an arrow yes. in the UK. And find out where the love has gone. Yeah. I'm a bit scared, so I'm, I'm going to actually put my face behind the atlas. Not that I don't 100% trust you, Selma. Are well, you ready, Stephanie? I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> where did so, it hit? Uh, it's right there. It's hit oh. on the red spot. On the red spot. London! Yay! Love is coming to London. Yeah. <laughs> love is coming to London. Yeah. Okay, next. Next. Page at random. Page at random. Somewhere in Africa. Somewhere in Africa. Let's do this. The soft, fleshy underbelly is exposed. Oh, wait, here I'm here. No. Yeah, up here. I think they need it there. There? The Tanzania. Love yeah. Tanzania. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, nice. that's, that's up in North. Lofoten. that's where you're from. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, I'm not from Lofoten. We sent it to Maggie's favourite Norwegian town, Lofoten, where you lived. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yay. This is Canada. Somewhere in Canada, there's love coming to you. Yay. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Somewhere. The Hudson Bay. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Hudson Bay. Thank you, Cupid. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was very nice. Yeah. I cannot think of a group of people that I'd rather spend Valentine's Day with. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Happy Cheers. Valentine's Day to Happy everyone! Valentine's Day. Happy Love Valentine's Day. Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Love from La Land! A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Laland who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Laland, Jägel and Ether, Brandon and John, Michael, Dan, Banda, Lauren Barnes, Vince Barone, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalikani, Stephen Sarah Cole, Zoe Dorks, Cora Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline First, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Meredith, Robert Miller, Kathy Norrie, JC Award, Maureen Palmer, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Sue, who Susan Stevens, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Valelli, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cockapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Ludovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.